What up, y'all? We are live. Another edition of Purely Speculation Live. Trying a couple of new things, doing this other format. A live version of the Purely Speculation format. Just to save some time and... Uh, do these a little bit more efficiently, hopefully. And just to pop on here randomly and surprise y'all every now and again. All right, let me get the chat open so I can see what you goofballs are saying. What up, Uncle Buckle? Our buckle in the place to be. Whoop, whoop. Uh, love you too, homie. Love you too. So I just wanted to come on here tonight. What's up, Ryan Lovejoy? I can actually see the chat a little bit better this time. What's up, Nate? Whoop, whoop. Um, I wanted to come on here and talk about a few things. It's uh, uh, Devil's Night. A lot of y'all are uh, heading out to Detroit for Hallowicked or are all already in Detroit for the Three-Headed Monsters Ball going on right now, I would assume. Going on right fucking now. Uh, everybody be safe, though, if you're still traveling, if you're already in Detroit or whatever. Um, be safe out there. Um, let's see. I wanted to talk about, though, the main thing I wanted to talk about... Oh, by the way, tomorrow we will be uh, doing a watch-along with the Hallow Wicked pay-per-view. That does not mean I will be streaming illegally the uh, the Hallow Wicked pay-per-view. I'm going to be watching the shit and adding my commentary to the shit like we do with the wrestling watch-along uh, streams. If you've ever caught any of those that we used to do more often, we haven't done any in a fucking while, <clears throat> it's going to be a commentary track. Emily might be in and out of that shit because she's been getting up at like 3.30 in the morning to work the new job shifts, but she'll be, uh, she'll be on the stream at least a little bit. But I wanted to do uh, I wanted to do that just to, for funsies because I know um, I have a feeling you know there's been a lot of speculation about this show and the sixth, especially with that article dropping and uh, Jay apparently sprinkling some little pieces of information about when the sixth he hopes to drop it and when he hopes to record it with Shaggy Two Dope after Hallow Wicked. If you haven't seen. Plans on dropping at Juggalo Weekend 2024, allegedly in Peoria, Illinois. But Shaggy kind of questions some of that uh, journalism. I did a whole purely speculation video about that. Um, but I wanted to come on here because this is uh, the whole Six Jokers card. I've seen a lot of speculation about will it drop? Will it drop at Hallow Wicked? W will it be uh, unveiled at Hallow Wicked? And uh, some speculation about what it will be. A lot of people bringing up uh, things like the Mighty Heckler, and I was reminded of the, the, the Great Pirate or the Mighty Pirate or whatever the fuck back uh, 20 years ago when the the six Jokers, the first Six Jokers card was going to drop. But, uh, which by the way, if anyone has a fucking picture of the, the old shitty uh, MS Paint pirate pick that someone did on Horrorcore.com back in the day, please send that my way. I, I want a fucking copy of that picture so bad. Um, I hope that the six will be a single album rather than two partner. Uh, so here's the thing about the six strokers card. A lot of speculation about what it will be. Violent J has said in interviews a couple of times what the six strokers card will be. A lot of y'all forget that. Um, I unfortunately cannot fucking find the interviews where he's dropped that. If so, if you out there, no witch interviews. I think it's one of the Patreon interviews from a few years back. And I do think it's another outlet. He dropped that, this, this piece of information. The six chokers card Jay said in a couple of interviews is going to be Shangri-La again. And we're not going to get Hell's Pit this time because uh, I think he cited how dark of a time uh, it was recording Hell's Pit. And he doesn't even want to do that again. He just wants to focus on the Shangri-La aspect of it. That's why I think we're getting Mikey Clark uh, for this album. Also, also sort of leaked in that article. Mikey Clark producing the Six Jokers card, according to this Detroit News article. Now, <clears throat> that seems to be a sort of uh, uh, history correction because Mike didn't produce the first Six Jokers card. They had Mike P and Esham and a couple other folks 
produce the Fritz the Cat maybe even a little bit, produce the six Jokers card of the first deck. So this is sort of a course correction, I feel, getting Mike to um, do the uh, six Jokers card of the second deck. So six Jokers card, Jay, at least Jay has said in a couple of interviews, will be Shangri-La again. I just want to throw that out there and remind y'all, especially if they do end up unveiling that shit tomorrow and that shit, and I'm right, and that shit is the fucking Wraith again. And do you think it's going to look like this? Do you think we get to see the face? Will they put the mirror on the face like what they were originally planning on doing? I don't know. Uh, it does seem like we might get some sort of reveal, though, especially if they're amping it up. If they're if they're already teasing it, they must have an image. They must know. I mean, Jay, if Jay's gonna stick to his guns and it's really gonna be Shangri La again, he already knows what it is. So will we see it? I don't know if y'all remember. Three years ago, it was three years ago, almost to the day. It'll be three years to the day tomorrow that they released the. Uh, they unveiled. They revealed what Yum Yum Bedlam looks like. The, the COVID year where they did Hallow Wicked in Violent Jay's uh, living room. And they did the uh, the whole acoustic set. At the end of that, they unveiled what Yum Yum looked like. And then Yum Yum came out a year later, right? Yeah, a year later at that Hallow Wicked. So, well, well, we'll have to wait and see what the fuck happens. Obviously, this is all speculation. Except, I believe, the part about what the six actually is. If Jay's going to stick to his guns with that. Um, so, I just wanted to come on here and get my, uh, get my, my, little, my little opinion, my little reminder in before Halloween could actually happen, so I can be like, see, I said it before it even happened. Um, I've, if, you've, if you guys have been watching my content for a while, you'll know that uh, I've been saying that for a long time on here, um, because Jay said it. it just, I do wish I could fucking find the interview. If any of y'all out there know which interview it was, I'm looking at the chat to see if anyone said which interview it was. I, I do think it was one of the Patreon ones. I want to say it's the one... Where it's either the one where they cut the promo, they did the shoot style interview with uh, Chris Hansen, or maybe it was the one where, shit, it might have been one of the history ones where they break down old shit. It might have been the one where they did sort of a gathering um, infomercial, but they did it live. It's I feel like it's one of those Patreon ones, man. Anyway, I wish the ICP Patreon was still up. Yeah, that shit is gone. But... If you go over to the cesspool known as Juggalo Reddit, you can find some links to uh, file caches of this shit. So uh, I think that was all I had to talk about tonight. No Hell's Pit this time. It's just going to be Shangri-La. I asked you all if you know which interview this is in because I cannot find it. I'd love to find a clip. Of, of him saying that shit so I can make a, sp a specific video using that clip and making that point. Um, let's see. What does what will it look like? I, I showed my shirt. Um, we're going to be streaming Hallow Wicked tomorrow. So uh, if y'all want to tune in, you can check that out. Make sure you buy that shit, though. Um, there's a couple of streamers, I think, who, who are going to attempt to illegally uh, stream that shit on Twitch. I probably shouldn't even be bringing that up or bringing attention to it, but, um, support, support ICP, support the Wicked Clowns, actually buy that shit, JuggaloTV.com can show you how, I have a video that we made as well, showing you how to order that shit, um, what app to download and all that shit, it's only 17 bucks, I mean, come on, hook them up a little bit, I think they're being pretty reasonable for a pay-per-view, and it's a pretty fresh concept, support, support them doing shit like this, so that maybe they do more fresh shit like this in the future, so I think this is a really dope idea. That's why another reason I wanted to for, sort of fucking live stream the shit and talk about it. But anyway, I'm 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 excited about Halloween tomorrow. Um, I really didn't have much planned for Halloween, so this will give me something to do. Um, I'm gonna make another purely speculation video after I get off of here in a second. But I wanted to get on here and do this real quick. Um, thank you everybody for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like gimmick, the subscribe gimmick. <coughs> um. Will we get JCW pay-per-view? I don't know if they're doing JCW on the um, the pay-per-view. The show starts at 7, it says. So I don't know if that is going to include the pape. Um, or the, uh, the the matches on, on the pape. I fucking hope so, though. I fucking hope we get some JCW stuff. Um, I'm assuming it's just going to be the music, though. 
from because the seven o'clock start time we got it we got a little bit of openers to get through and i, I don't know if you know icp does go on late though hmm. but they're doing an after party as well they're doing that bash and pumpkins gimmick so what do you think 11 o'clock icp goes on or midnight hmm. what do you guys think 11 o'clock or midnight it's one of the two <laughs> it's gonna be one of the two i don't think they go on at 10 o'clock that's for fuck's sakes so maybe we do get a little bit of wrestling maybe we get like an hour of wrestling we got 11 30 at midnight people are saying i'd say 11 11 fashionably late <laughs> yeah uh i feel like they're gonna build the suspense and do it fashionably late, late like hirschmeyer says ICP goes on late to be professional. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, y'all. I'm going to get off of here, and I'm going to make this other um, this other video. I hope we get an image of the six. You know, like I said, man, three years ago, tomorrow will be three years since Yum Yum was uh, unveiled at Hallow Wicked. So, and with Jay kind of dropping little hints about it, 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 it must be on his mind. He's definitely thinking about the six. So, we'll fucking see. All right, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go make this other purely speculation edited style video um spoiler about twisted um and the uh, uh diet lotus i'm gonna make a video about that real quick so i got some thoughts about that um so that that i want to share but i want to do that in a more edited format uh so yeah shall probably drop that late tonight maybe early tomorrow morning uh depends on how much editing i have to do with that all right y'all i hope everybody's doing good have a good night. Be safe out there in Detroit if you're uh, out for the Halloween festivities. Um, I love y'all. Wish I was out there with y'all. It's the 30th anniversary or 30th annual. I forget which term they're using. <laughs> it's the 30th uh, Halloween, and I wish I could fucking be out there, man. Halloween really is quite, quite fucking magical. I've only been to one, and uh, it was a really fucking dope experience. Everybody, be safe though. I love y'all. Whoop whoop. Uh, hit the like gimmick, hit the sub uh, hit the subscribe gimmicks. See, it's stuff like this I usually edit out. Hit the subscribe gimmicks. Uh, we'll, we'll have a good night. Bye and broadcast.